bet we're live by now. <laughs> I think it's been enough time. <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome back to The Nexus. This is, of course, where we spotlight our favorite local businesses and highlight our True North Technology stars from time to time. I am Taylor Tunison, your host for today, and I am joined by Alex Kofelt, our wonderful Vice President of Operations. But before we talk to her a little bit, you got to know uh, we got some great Tap On It deals going out. Um, we have a few expiring, actually. We've got Tommy's Car Wash coming up, Lazari's Pizza, uh, Kincater, and Capital Cities or Capital Cigar Lounge. Mm -hmm. um, I think Kincater has a buy one get one uh, drink, and then Capital Cigar it's like basically a free drink. You get it for a penny. Mm -hmm. um, we also have Villa Moore, Stem Gallery, Delicioso. I think Rock and Joe also has a buy one get one yeah. coffee drink or something like that. Um, and then Mary Ellen. So if you're not signed up for Tap on it, go to our website. You'll find a bunch of information there, or you can text the word TAP on it to 82928. You'll get these great local deals from all over Lincoln, um, texted to your phone, directly yeah. to your phone. We've got a really good variety right now, too, mm -hmm. having a little bit of everything. So there's something for everybody on TAP on it, which yeah. is really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Alex, welcome back to the Nexus. Thank uh, you. Happy we, to be here. We interviewed you a few months ago, maybe six months ago. Mm -hmm. I think it was Renee, uh, sort yeah. of introduced you to the world. Um, but a lot has happened uh, that you're coming up on a year. Is that yeah. right? Yeah. So my first day was uh, January 4th of this year, first Monday mm. of the year. So coming up on a full calendar year of being with True North Technologies. And it's been it's been a lot. It's been exciting yeah. to see, you know, how things have changed, how we've grown, mm -hmm. um, you know, sort of how the way we do things has shifted as we sort of fine tune our, you know, our processes and our right. services and stuff. So it's been it's been really good. Yeah, it's a lot of fun here. Um, and you've also grown professionally quite a bit. Yeah. Um, you've taken on a lot of extra responsibility. Yeah. Um, so let's, you know, backtrack a little bit. Uh, speaking of Kincater, uh, I think that's the first time we met. Mm -hmm. uh, we sort yeah. of had a, a social. We had everybody um, around at Kincater for drinks. And this was, I think, uh, that was our very first tap on a blast. We had Kincater yeah. um, it was know, like the first month. November of last year mm -hmm. because it was between when I had accepted my offer and then actually attending strategic planning and then and then starting. So yeah. it was kind of a fun, you know, way to get introduced to the team. Yeah. Um, you know, everybody was out, you know, having a nice time, mm -hmm. you know, supporting local business, which mm -hmm. is something that we're all super passionate about here so yeah and I think they had a buy one get one at that time as well yeah, it was buy one get one for a penny yeah so it was that, great uh, that peach can't be that's it. what it was yeah, yeah it was mm -hmm. a, a peach white peach yeah uh, something something else yeah. but that was it was really good yeah if you are of legal drinking age I highly recommend it I think you can <laughs> find it on Kincaider's site as well oh, they've nice. got you know breakdowns of, of their beers so yeah. that was a fun uh, first impression yeah. of the team um, and kind of uh, a little low key, not so uh, like formal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then you mentioned strategic planning. Mm -hmm. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah. So strategic planning was in December of last year. Mm -hmm. um, so again, preceded my actual official start date. But it was really neat to come in and get kind of this broad overview of. Um, you know, where the company had been the previous year, what, you know, the existing team's plans were to mm. sort of carry us through this year. Um, it was a really good rundown for somebody coming in new to be able to really wrap my arms around a lot of what was going on and what we had planned. Um, and incidentally, we're coming up on this year's strategic planning mm. in, in this month as well. So um, that'll be, I think, a fun you know, kind of full circle moment yeah. a little bit too to to see, you know, the further growth that we've had, what our plans are, you know, we're putting some stuff together internally mm -hmm. for, um, you know, communicating with the rest of the team, what our marketing is going to look like, you know, our, our approach to services, mm -hmm. you know, further fine tuning, um, you know, what we've got going on. And that's something that we're um, sort of always doing both for ourselves and for our clients, yeah. you know, the nature of the, of the business is just because it is in a digital sphere. It's always mm -hmm. changing, always evolving, right. and you really have to stay on top of, you know, what's going on. Mm -hmm. um, the recent SEO update from Google, for example, yeah. that, that rolled out last month. So And social media, there's mm -hmm. been some changes there. Yeah, yep. Um, so, yeah, we're always chasing uh, the, the cutting edge. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're never going to get there. That's no. kind of, that's, <laughs> that's the battle, you know, you, that's you the best, best part and the worst part mm -hmm. is you're, you're never done. So it's, it's, you know, gratifying in the sense that, you know, 
there there's always room to grow there's always room for self-evaluation mm. um, of the things that you're doing but there is always the element of of learning and striving and right. you know staying ahead of things when you can yeah so. yeah and i think our clients are really grateful that we are mm. kind of on the front lines yeah you know and uh they don't have to either they don't have the time or they're mm. not skilled in it they sure. don't like technology um but it's it's like we're fighting for them. We're yeah. Well, and that's something that I that I hear from clients pretty pretty consistently. I mean, Instagram and Facebook both had um, algorithm changes within the last four to six months. Mm -hmm. um, so as these things happen, you know, that's something that I do my due diligence and I make our clients aware of. Of this right. is what we are expecting to see happen for you. This is how we're going to overcome maybe some of the limitations that are mm -hmm. being imposed and. You know, almost every single time I get a, oh my God, I had no idea. Right. Or I'm so glad that you know about that because I, I was completely unaware. So yeah, and we it's may an not. additional kind of value add to the service. We're not just here, you know, making beautiful graphics for mm -hmm. your social media. We are constantly, you know, kind of keeping our fingers on the pulse of what's yeah. going on, what's coming next. How do we, again, consistently fine tune and tweak to to see improvement or keep things, you know, stable at the very least. And it's something you do sort of naturally. Um, we we tend to be so close to the action that even if we don't hear about it the first day yeah. or the first week, we generally hear about it first yeah. before most of our clients, uh, mm -hmm. friends, family members. Right. Um, and it's just sort of like by osmosis. Right. Um, we either notice a change or we get, you know, an update through the platform itself. Right. Or we do a little bit of digging and, and find a news article or find a yeah. publication somehow. Well, and I'm big on, um, I have a couple uh, newsletters that I get, you know, a couple times a week, a couple mm. of them are daily. Um, but, you know, it's, it's so crucial within the sphere of digital marketing to constantly be seeking out new information opportunities learning from other people's mistakes learning from other people's yeah. successes right um and you know sourcing that kind of information from from other people really relying mm -hmm. on you know other people who are in it i'm in a i'm in a facebook group even right of of digital marketers daily, that are daily carnage yeah the daily carnage yeah. yeah so it's a it's a you know some parts you know complaining about new updates or you know rolling out or you know providing advice it's a, been a mm -hmm. really great resource for for me and i've been able to even be a resource for others within the group to say you know i'm having this issue have you tried troubleshooting this this mm -hmm. way or this is how we are are seeing performance impacted mm -hmm. um, i mean we have people comment there was one relatively recently of they're like i have a tagline this is what i have right now and i'm really not happy with it can you guys weigh in help out yeah um so kind of further extending that sort of one of our core values at Trinworth is collaboration. Mm -hmm. And so I think we, you know, just because of the people we are collectively as an organization, we do that even outside of the confines of the office, yeah. which is pretty cool. Yeah, it's really rewarding to be a part mm -hmm. of this uh, global community, yeah. really, um, of, of tech insiders, yeah. uh, you know, these, these businesses that there's a variety of you know services that are provided but right. we're so interested in the minute details mm -hmm. um, that people who aren't so close to the action right. they don't care or they don't mm -hmm. want to spend time sure. or and it can be intimidating too especially for a business owner the amount of mm -hmm. time that it takes to learn about these things or you know if you don't have the sort of existing baseline knowledge to understand what an update means how it might impact you why it was being implemented in the first place to right. know whether it applies to you the, the the recent update for example with with the seo side of things um I don't expect to see much change in performance for us or any of our clients because we don't employ any black hat strategies. Oh, so right. there, some of these are a little kind of in a gray area mm. of, they're calling it a spam update, but, yeah. but because we are the good guys of the internet mm -hmm. in a way, you know, we, we have the knowledge to know you aren't gonna see impact. Whereas a business owner who's trying to manage this themselves yeah. and is kind of, you know, maybe fumbling through, fighting their way to just do their best may unnecessarily be scared of, oh my goodness, there's an update. Mm. Is this gonna tank my traffic? Absolutely. So you are no longer a project manager. Um, I'm not, I'm no longer only a project manager, okay. I think is probably well, the... So that was, yeah. your, you were initially brought onto the team as a project manager. Right. Um, because, you know, we have all of these individuals who are really good at their specific fields. Mm -hmm. um, and we sort of laser focus in. For me, example, for, for me, for example, uh, writing and social media, anything that has to do with copy or... Yeah you know, public facing yeah. or even internal communication. communication. Yeah, that's, your, that's your title. Yeah. And, and 
however, I don't interface with clients very yeah. often. Um, sometimes I'll uh, send some updates here and there, but we really needed someone to sort of glue the team together yeah. and also have a consistent single point of contact, right. which is really helpful for business owners, mm -hmm. especially if they're on their own and they're jumping around. Uh, yeah. You don't you don't want to have emails coming from multiple different people, right. different times of day, different tones of voice. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got sort of a different um, preference. Sure. Um, and if we can tailor to <laughs> <laughs> to the client, and I think that's that was the main reason why we brought you on. But then was mm -hmm. it three months in or so? Yeah. You got this shiny new title. Yeah. Um, Vice President of Operations. Right. Which yeah. essentially means that you have your hands in all the projects. Mm -hmm. um, you get to interface with all the clients. You interface with all the team members. At any given moment, you know where a project is, mm -hmm. what needs to be done, yeah. uh, what the timeline is, and when we can expect to have it published. Sure, yeah. Um, and just for me personally, you've made my job easier because it's so hard to to organize and navigate all these individual pieces yeah. of content um, when we have dozens of clients and over 20 pieces of content yeah. just written every right. month that need to go out. Yeah. Um, and certain clients have certain expectations. Mm -hmm. um, we have our own standards, yeah. but um, you make sure that we hit things on time, if not ahead of time, yeah. um, and that our clients are satisfied and we don't stop uh, yeah. with edits or mm -hmm. you know complete overhauls unless, yeah. um, unless they're satisfied. And uh, mm -hmm. so I'm really grateful to have you on the team simply for that. Um, is there any service or process or maybe project that really stood mm -hmm. out or that uh, you enjoyed was really fulfilling to see through through the end? Yeah, I will say that's one of my things that I was really nervous about coming into the newer role um, because sort of the need became apparent that it's not enough to just have someone sort of overseeing how these projects are progressing. Um, increasingly, it became necessary for me to actually begin really digging in, getting my hands dirty and providing some of the services. Yeah. So that has been, um, SEO in particular is one of my favorites. Yeah. Um, it's kind of an, an unsolvable puzzle. Um, so I have an opportunity to, you know, see these projects through from start to finish and, you know, consistently be making these changes. I personally write blogs for several of mm -hmm. our clients. Um, I'm, I do Google my business updates for people, you know, keyword research. I collaborate with Dylan on how we're going to implement those into, you know, their site map, those kinds of things. Um, yeah, I think I think of all of our services, I think websites are the most gratifying in terms of that's the one where you feel the most like you can sort of put a period at the end of the sentence. Yeah. Website is live. It looks good. The client's happy with it. Mm -hmm. um, we obviously still do the, you know, the monthly maintenance as, right. you know, needs change or your business changes. Mm -hmm. um, but I think SEO is probably my favorite of our services because there are so many components that kind of fit together in mm -hmm. unique and interesting ways that mm -hmm. are that are. You, you, you're never done. You're never done learning. No, certainly not. Um, and even if you do have a great website, even if you do publish content regularly, mm -hmm. um, it's it's an ongoing, never-ending battle yeah. to keep, you got to mm -hmm. keep that position. Yeah. Um, if you're on the first page of Google, that's great, but you don't want someone to come along and knock you off. Right. Simply because you, oh, I forgot to Mm -hmm. update my, my header my tags business. were dorked up on a single page it could mm -hmm. be something as small as that yeah yeah it's kind of a, a perfectionist craft almost yeah. uh and you you've got input i believe as mm -hmm. one of your top five gallop strengths if y'all yeah. are familiar with those yeah shout out to brooke yeah. she she did a an all company strengths coaching recently that was mm -hmm. really that was really neat to sort of figure out how my my personal skill set sort of interacts with you know that of other team members. So. But I think input really serves you well in your position, yeah. uh, particularly because you have a million things flying at you at mm -hmm. all times and you can't just take them all at face value. You've yeah. got to kind of filter and sort and say, okay, I can respond to this email now. Mm -hmm. I can verify this before I reach out to the client again. Yeah. Um, so maybe walk us through a little bit of your day to day um, yeah. now and uh, what, uh, what that looks like. Um, throughout the week and if, yeah, if definitely. different stages of a project maybe? Yeah, um, so one overarching thing is um, client communication is always a part of my day to day. Right. Um, you know, responding to emails, organizing information that clients send our way. Um, we do strive to have 
the project manager be the, the, the primary point of contact, if not a single point of contact. Mm. Um, there are times, for example, where Dylan knows specifically what he needs for a website, and so it's not smart to play a game of telephone and have right. me send that email, so he'll, he'll be the one to take care of that to make sure he's getting exactly what he needs. But um, day to day, um, you know, we have our marketing meetings internally biweekly, yeah. um, where we sort of strategize and plan out our own social media content, look for opportunities to, you know, really highlight our services as well as ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and then weekly, um, checking in on performance for client social media posts, yeah. um, you know, the page management aspect of that, making sure that we're, you know, responding to comments, Google My Business updates happen yep. weekly. That's one of the best practices and something that we include in our service. Um, and just whatever other random little things get get thrown at us. I mean, mm -hmm. we have clients sometimes like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry to ask, but I'm, I'm misunderstanding or I'm not sure I'm clear mm -hmm. on this aspect of what you guys are doing. Can you talk to me a little mm -hmm. bit about that? Um, that, I think, is is one of the biggest ways that, that input serves me and my connectedness a little bit, too, yeah. is I'm always gathering these little bits of information. And mm -hmm. this role in this industry especially, um, I have an opportunity to not just collect them in my brain, but yeah. to put them to use mm -hmm. and to teach other people about them. Um, our managed services, clients get meetings with me monthly, mm -hmm. um, so that gives me an opportunity to talk them through strategy, talk them through what I've learned recently mm -hmm. and you know how we're going to put that to use for them. Um, so the educational aspect is really, is really sort of gratifying for me too, to be able to not only learn these cool, you know, interesting kind of quirky things, but to then be able to share that information with somebody who wouldn't have a you know a desire to seek it out otherwise absolutely and because everything just about everything we do is so digital mm -hmm. we have a vast wealth of data yeah um and i know that's something that we sort of nerd out yeah. uh, on from time to time um whether it's traffic mm -hmm. or uh keywords yeah um being able to see or you know click to call mm -hmm. these sort of things that business owners really need they're really yeah. looking for um, we can give them hard and fast answers mm -hmm. to their questions of yes, you are getting more visitors to your website. Absolutely. Yes, you're getting more calls every month. Right. We had a client recently who ran a um, a giveaway promotion through their website. Um, that was not something that we actively participated in. They sort of handled that one on their own, but they still had a need for for our intervention. That client reached out and said, you know, I I need to know how that how that perform or yeah. how that you know yeah. giveaway performs. Metrics. So I was able to pull data from Google Analytics that was you know much more granular than what I would just go over in a normal mm. meeting and and sort of synthesize some of that information to show them okay this is how the traffic shook out for you here's where people were coming from these people came straight to it these people found their way to it mm. here's where people went after the fact um, and so then they were able to you know sort of pair my data up with the other information they had about the ways in which they were promoting the giveaway um, to be able to assess, you know, ROI of this other right. marketing endeavor that they had taken on independently. So, um, yeah, I mean, we talk a lot about value add around right. here yeah. and to be able to, you know, kind of go above and beyond a little bit for for our clients is something that I'm really personally proud of that, that we all do. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, I think our clients' businesses are better for it in Absolutely. a lot of ways. It's like we're a partner, um, mm -hmm. we're a resource for yeah. them. Um, and whether or not we've built their website, whether or not we you know, do any ongoing maintenance for them, mm -hmm. um, we still have the opportunity to see things like uh, you know, bounce rate um, yeah. and what is it, time on page mm -hmm. and some of these things that yeah. really, uh, if you don't, if you don't know, if you're not uh, aware, uh, you have no benchmark, you yeah. have no baseline. Um, or similarly, I mean, we've had um, an opportunity with a lot of our social media clients recently yeah. to communicate with them, um, you know, why the fact that your reach is maybe down this month mm. is not one, a bad thing or the end of the world or, you know, we need to make a massive shift in our um, in our strategy just by virtue of it being we're coming up on the holiday season. Yeah. Um, Black Friday shopping and Cyber Monday shopping was the lowest traffic you know, or, or, you know, amount of commerce conducted on those two days that it's been in years. Oh, really? Well, it's because people are extending the time frames during which they're running these kinds of offers oh, okay. because supply chain issues are going on. Right. Um, it's not enough to just have a big blowout, whatever. People sort of have this lingering notion that I need to get it and get it early. Mm. Um, so the, the overall spending for the season is relatively unchanged, if not a little bit higher, but um, 
we're running into a similar thing with social media because people are increasingly shopping online. Yeah. Your organic performance isn't going to be what it was even when we're doing everything right, everything that's worked mm. really well in the past um, because so many people are running sponsored ads, boosted right. content this time of year, um, especially for product-based industries mm -hmm. where you're really trying to get people to pay for your stuff, so it's harder to get some of that organic And reach. not just on a single day or, yeah. a, or a weekend, you know, over Black Friday weekend. Mm -hmm. We've now got like Cyber Week. Yeah. And we're doing, we're, we're seeing these, these more long form mm -hmm. um, campaigns. Yeah, one of the newsletters that I was reading recently even was like, if you are just running your ads on Friday or on Monday, you really need to reevaluate this. You need to be thinking about starting things as early as October for your oh, holiday wow. promotions. So mm. it's a it's a big it's a big shift for sure. Absolutely. Yeah, there's a lot going on. Um, it's definitely a challenge to keep up. Mm -hmm. um, we're always trying to be uh, cutting edge, front of the pack. Um, and I think our clients really appreciate it. And it's really yeah. fulfilling to be able to give them um, the support that they need. Yeah. Um, we say all the time that websites are your digital storefront. Yeah. If you don't have a website, uh, people can't find you online. People yeah. can't find you online. They don't think you're trustworthy. Yeah. You know, um, so there's it, it's kind of a, a great interlocking puzzle. Uh, mm -hmm. And like you said, it's never ending. Yeah. We're always trying to tweak and tune. Well, and to be able to take somebody from, you know, somebody who has an old website or when they maintain themselves or something to take them from just, okay, having a website is the bare minimum. Yeah. Having a good website, which there's not much truly that, you know, we can't do to take bare minimum to great and right. lead generating and, mm -hmm. you know, having, you know, the benefit of really good traffic when you are, you know, following SEO best practices mm -hmm. and those kinds of things. So to, you know, again, have that kind of value add of, you know, a website is the bare minimum let's take you up a notch. Let's Absolutely. let's get this beautiful, user-friendly, mobile optimized mm. um, to really get you the best value out of, you know, this this asset that you're maintaining. Absolutely. That's a great way to think about it. Well, we could talk forever. Yeah. Um, we've got so <laughs> much uh, that we're learning, so much that we're implementing, um, so many exciting, fun things happening around here. Yeah. Um, it's been great to uh, learn and grow beside you professionally, yeah. um, to see you grow into your role um, and really uh, help the team out in so many ways. Yeah. Um, so I look forward to having you on the show again. Thank you, um, yeah. And uh, we'll I always get so nervous, but then it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it flies by. I mean, that was like 25 minutes. Oh my gosh. So uh, I'm sure we have about one person yeah. watching. For uh, anybody who's still hanging on, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And tune in next week. I'll be here. I don't know uh, if we'll have Tasha on the show or mm, something. Yeah. Um, but maybe we'll give a culture update or something like that. But uh, yeah, awesome. as always, you stay classy and uh, <laughs> we'll check in with you soon.